Hello friends. As you can see more and more innocent people of Russia and Ukraine, even America and Europe are suffering as a result of the war. The people who lost their lives and those who were injured were of course sad, but equally sad were the homeless who had to flee the war zone. Many people are unemployed without a job, living in hunger, others are bankrupt because of the embargo, and are going from being glorious once to become beggars. In general, war entails too many bad things. And it is clear that the countries show no signs of giving in, the leaders are still finding ways to retaliate against each other every day, regardless of people's lives. So now, how to end the war as quickly as possible, maybe you won't believe it, but many people have given this opinion, Russia join NATO. Sounds surprising, right, but don't rush to such conclusions, let's analyze and look at a fuller, more multi-dimensional view. There are two things that many of you may not know which are. Firstly, NATO really brings peace to Europe and second, that Russia also wants to join NATO, Russian President Putin himself wants to join NATO, is it hard to believe? So let's clarify them one by one. How does NATO bring peace? Before NATO was born, there were almost always conflicts between European countries and constant wars. However, it was the birth of NATO that led countries that were often at odds to become an alliance of mutual assistance, solidarity, and mutual benefits. The proof is that it has been more than 70 years since NATO was born, and you cannot find such a long period in European history about the last 1,000 years without a war. Therefore, since the birth of NATO, there has been a period of up to 70 consecutive years without war, especially with NATO countries, it can be even longer. Thus, NATO is keeping the peace for its member countries, and the more countries join NATO, the more countries have a cohesive, peaceful relationship with each other. Especially, if Russia also joins NATO, it will almost be the peace of the world because NATO's opponent is Russia, but Russia and NATO are one, then of course, the world's greatest grudge will disappear, the world will be safe. But is Russia interested in joining NATO? I would like to inform you that the answer is yes, not that interesting knowledge says yes, but Russian President Putin and his predecessor also have the same opinion. 30 years ago, in December 1991, Boris Yeltsin, who had been the first president of newly independent Russia, wrote a letter to NATO, which said, we consider these relations as very serious and looks forward to developing the dialogue in all directions, both politically and militarily. Today we are questioning Russia's membership in NATO however, consider it a long-term political goal, that is, there is no need to rush. A few years later, when Russia signed the so-called Partnership for Peace Treaty, US President Bill Clinton said, it's a path to NATO membership. By the time of President Bush, Russia's membership of NATO continued to be evaluated. When Russian President Putin first took office, in an interview, when asked, what is your view on Russia joining NATO, President Putin replied, I don't see any reason to say no, I wouldn't rule out such a possibility, but I repeat if and when Russia's position is considered the position of an equal partner. Besides, he also said, Russia is part of European culture, and I can't imagine my country being isolated from Europe, what we usually call the civilized world, Russia wants to be part of the prosperous West, stable, safe and we don't stand in line with many unimportant countries. Thus, Russia has thought about and also has a desire to join NATO, as long as they are treated commensurate with their position, not accepting just a small country, without a voice, without a what impact. Although, many times, the parties seriously assessed the possibility of Russia joining NATO, at the same time, the relationship between Russia and NATO is also getting better and better, becoming partners in many fields. However, in the end, Russia did not become a member of NATO, the feelings between the two sides began to crack when NATO increasingly admitted more members as neighbors of Russia, leaving Russia in a situation where, if joining is considered forced, and has no voice, if not, NATO is increasingly encroaching on its borders. Ultimately, this relationship collapsed in the event that Russia sent troops to annex Crimea, today, invade Ukraine and recognize the independence of two eastern Ukrainian provinces. Up to now, Russia joining NATO is very difficult, according to Article 1 of the treaty, member countries will have to settle disputes peacefully with other countries before joining. Thus, Russia will have to complete an agreement with Ukraine, the war must end, then it will be eligible to join. But naturally, Russia going to war, then making a peace agreement, and then applying to join NATO, seems too crazy. But otherwise, the people of all countries will continue to suffer. So, what to do? What do you think? Let's discuss.
Thank you for watching the video, goodbye and see you again.